Hi, welcome back to farbelowmarket.com. I'm Cindy Squires and this is Curtis Squires. And Howdy. We're here at another duplex that we got for you. Now, if you missed out on Rancho Vista and you're upset about that, and I know there's some people out there, this is your second chance. Now, we're on uh, 68775 33rd Avenue and the resemblances to Rancho Vista are uncanny. First of all, you could throw a, ro a rock and almost hit it. And if you remember Rancho Vista, it's a very solid area. I'm going to add that this is in Cathedral City. That's right. Which is just adjacent to Palm Springs. That's right, that's right. Now, the other resemblance to Rancho Vista, that the reason we got such an incredible deal on this is that it's in trouble with the city again. And if you follow me this way, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, the main differences are that uh, 33rd Avenue, the subject property, has single car garages instead of double. However, they are attached, whereas uh, Rancho Vista's garages were, were uh, detached. Now, as you can see, uh, it's already been cited by um, the city of Cathedral City. It's got an administrative citation. They're getting fined uh, for each count. A few, it's got 100, 250. Third count goes up to 500. So now each count that they don't rectify their problems, they're getting hit $500 every time. So every day? Yeah, every, yeah exactly. Every, well, every day. count, every count. Every time they say, oh, it's not done. So it's not necessarily per day, but so, pretty much whenever they feel like driving by and yeah. putting so a check bar. Bottom line, the bank that owns this property is very motivated to get rid of it, hence the good deal that we got on it. Now, first of all, the walls are solid, aside from the color. Uh, it needs very little repair work, a few nail holes. Um, looks, what do, you, what do you want to say about that? Well, basically it just needs patching and painting. Every room is a different color and they've used semi-gloss where they should have used flat, etc. But the thing I love the most about this property is the flooring. Um, Ian, show the flooring here. Um, it's, immaculate. it's tile and it's in perfect condition everywhere in the whole place. Not only is that good for rehab purposes, but that's also great for having a rental and not having to replace it every time you get rid of your tenant. You got, uh, I mean, it's just solid. It's just solid. It just needs to be patched up. Mm -hmm. So what would we do here in the kitchen? Um, basically, it needs a stove and it needs the cabinets painted. Otherwise, everything else seems to be intact. The bathroom's actually beautiful, uh, not the color, but the tile. If you paint this the right color, it'll look really nice. The tile work is superb. In fact, you don't need to repair anything in there. Some closet doors. Uh, now, here's another thing: is each unit has its own private backyard. Private backyard for each side. Now we have repair, we have full repair estimates on the way. To have uh, this fence needs to be completely torn out and redone. The trellis needs to be sanded and re sanded and repainted. Yeah, the, the trellis in the backyard and the in the in the backyard fence and landscape. But we have repairs coming in for all of that. Serious cash flow for for our uh, cash flow buyers. I mean, we're talking. These will rent 11, 1300 uh, Each side. Yeah, conservatively, 11, right. more like probably 12, 13, uh, maybe $1,400 in rent. Each side. We have that truck. Okay. So here we are in Unit B, and, and just take a look. Same thing. Uh, immaculate flooring. You don't have to change a thing. Paint color is better on this, but I'd still paint it. Uh, I mean, look at the kitchen. Look at these cabinets. I mean, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything. You could paint 